given, but the child is still sleeping. My name is Dr. Todd Chang. I work at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, and my specialty is pediatric emergency medicine. Emergencies that happen to kids are thankfully pretty rare, but that also means that the emergency training is very important because there aren't very many doctors that see it. Those of us in the healthcare field train using simulators or mannequins. Mannequin-based simulation is very common, but it does have some drawbacks in that sometimes it's very expensive and it's hard to get lots of people in the same room. It can get very crowded. So one of the things that we wanted to do to complement mannequin-based simulation is to come up with VR simulation. When you enter VR and place the headset on, you take the place of the physician. We were able to use the controllers to be able to point at medications, you can point at the equipment, you could even point at the patients and examine the patient because that's what doctors and nurses do. We were able to actually have two very different conditions. So one is for a really long seizure. The second condition is called anaphylaxis or a life-threatening allergy. These are the kids who have severe reactions to peanuts or eggs so that when they eat it, they break into rashes, they can't breathe, and it becomes a medical emergency. One of the things that we really like about virtual reality is that you have total audiovisual immersion. In other words, you're really in the scenario, and it makes it feel very real. Doctor, this is a seven-year-old female who started developing a rash. In fact, we asked people how it felt, and it felt like the real thing for most of the doctors and nurses. We even put little heart monitors on them, and their heart rates also went up, just like if they were in a real thing. Medical VR is a huge field. It's opening up and there's a lot of different ways to get involved. We'll need people in medical VR who know a lot about the technology. And then we'll need people who know the healthcare and the people who know how to do education. So there's so many ways to get involved with VR as long as you study hard and you really enjoy what you do.